Hello, trend and research viewers and esteemed colleagues. Today, we dive into the fascinating world of AI and information retrieval with the paper titled Precise Zero-Shot Dense Retrieval Without Relevance Labels. This groundbreaking study challenges the traditional need for numerical relevance scores in retrieval systems, proposing a novel approach that leverages the prowess of language models. Prepare to explore how this method could redefine our understanding of relevance and potentially transform retrieval systems. Let's delve into the insights and implications of this innovative research. As we delve deeper into the realm of information retrieval, we encounter a pivotal shift with the introduction of the high DE model. Traditional retrieval systems heavily rely on numerical relevance scores to determine the importance of documents in relation to a query. However, this approach is not without its challenges, particularly as it necessitates extensive labeled data, which is often scarce or unavailable. In contrast, prior works in the field have shown significant advancements with the advent of pre-trained transformer models. These models have enhanced dense retrieval systems through techniques such as metric learning and negative sampling. Yet, they still grapple with the fundamental limitation of depending on relevance labels for training. This brings us to the innovative approach of HiD, which seamlessly integrates the large language models with dense encoders and retrievers. By doing so, HiDE shifts part of the relevance modeling and instruction understanding tasks to these powerful language models. This not only reduces the dependency on relevance labels, but also capitalizes on the generative capabilities of large language models to interpret and fulfill user queries in a more flexible and context-aware manner. Through this integration, HiDE offers a promising direction for enhancing retrieval systems, particularly in scenarios where labeled data is limited or entirely absent. In exploring the capabilities of language models in retrieval systems, our research introduces several key contributions and insights. Firstly, we've shown that large language models can effectively take on part of the relevance modeling process. This capability could potentially simplify the retrieval process by reducing the dependency on traditional relevance scoring methods. Moreover, our findings prompt us to reconsider the fundamental nature of relevance in retrieval systems. Is numerical relevance merely a statistical artifact of language understanding? This question opens up new avenues for research and discussion within the field. Turning to the results and implications of our study, the high DE model performs comparably to traditional dense retrievers in many scenarios. This suggests that numerical relevance, which has been a cornerstone of retrieval systems, might not be strictly necessary for effective retrieval. Our approach also indicates a scalable and adaptable system where a supervised dense retriever can be gradually implemented, allowing for flexibility in handling various query types and volumes. These insights not only advance our understanding of retrieval systems, but also highlight the potential for more efficient and adaptable frameworks in handling information retrieval tasks. Ladies and gentlemen, let's delve into the innovative realm of dense retrieval, a pivotal technique that has significantly advanced the efficiency of document retrieval systems. As illustrated in this figure, our Hyde model leverages the unchanged architectures of GPT-3 and Contriever models to process a variety of queries. This approach harnesses the power of semantic embedding similarities, which have proven successful across diverse tasks such as web search, question answering, and fact verification. By embedding these tasks within the high DE framework, we're able to achieve remarkable retrieval performance without the need for direct relevance supervision, showcasing the model's adaptability and potential in handling complex information retrieval scenarios. As we delve deeper into the realm of dense retrieval, it's crucial to acknowledge the limitations inherent in current approaches. Predominantly, these methods rely heavily on large, labeled datasets such as MS Marco. This dependency not only restricts their applicability in diverse real-world scenarios, but also poses challenges due to commercial usage limitations, which can stifle innovation and accessibility. This brings us to the motivation for exploring new methodologies. There's a pressing need for effective zero-shot dense retrieval systems that operate independently of relevant supervision. 
Such systems should be capable of generalizing across a variety of tasks, demonstrating robustness and versatility in handling different types of queries and information needs. Addressing these concerns leads us to our problem statement. How can we develop a retrieval system that moves away from traditional numerical relevance scores? This question challenges us to rethink if numerical relevance can truly capture the complex nuances of language understanding and user intent. By exploring these avenues, we aim to broaden the scope and efficacy of retrieval systems in a way that aligns more closely with real-world applications and linguistic subtleties. Understanding the importance of advancing retrieval systems is crucial, especially in scenarios where there is a scarcity of labeled data. This challenge often impedes the development and efficiency of traditional retrieval systems. To address this, we introduce the Hypothetical Document Embeddings, or HiD model, which innovatively combines generative language models with contrastive encoders. This combination redefines the interactions between large language models and dense retrievers, setting a new paradigm in the field. A key innovation of the HiDE model is its ability to delegate part of the relevance modeling process to language models. This reduces the reliance on relevance labels, which are often scarce and expensive to obtain. By simplifying the retrieval process, HiDE not only enhances efficiency, but also opens up new possibilities for systems lacking extensive labeled datasets. This approach is particularly beneficial in dynamically changing environments where new data and queries continuously emerge. In this segment, we delve into the expected impact of the high de model, particularly focusing on its robustness and adaptability. high de is designed to effectively manage emerging and less common queries right from the outset. This capability is crucial in the early stages of a search system's life, where data might be sparse and not fully representative of future queries. Moreover, as more data becomes available, HiDE demonstrates a remarkable ability to adapt and scale. This adaptability ensures that the system remains effective and efficient, gradually integrating more sophisticated models, like supervised dense retrievers, as they become viable with increasing data. This seamless scalability highlights Heidi's potential as a foundational model in developing robust and adaptable search systems. Let's delve into the core of our research, the HiDE model, which stands for Hypothetical Document Embeddings. This innovative approach marries the capabilities of large language models, or LLMs, with the precision of dense encoders and retrievers. By doing so, we're able to leverage the natural language understanding and generation prowess of models like InstructGPT, alongside the document similarity encoding strength of models like Contriever. The methodology of Hyde is elegantly simple yet profoundly effective, consisting of a two-step process. First, we take a user's query and feed it into InstructGPT, which then generates what we call a hypothetical document. This document is crafted to answer the query as accurately as possible, albeit it might contain hypothetical or generalized information. Next, this generated document is processed through the Contriever model, which encodes it into an embedding. This embedding captures the essence of the document, filtering out superfluous details and focusing on the core information relevant to the query. Through this process, HiDE bypasses the need for explicit relevance scoring between queries and documents, instead relying on the intrinsic capabilities of LLMs to understand and generate relevant text, and on dense encoders to recognize document similarity. This innovative approach not only simplifies the retrieval process, but also enhances its adaptability and effectiveness across various languages and tasks. Let's delve into the technical details of the HiDE model, which stands out for its unique approach to document retrieval. The process begins with generating a hypothetical document. Here, InstructGPT plays a crucial role by receiving the instruction to write a document that answers the question. This step is pivotal, as the generative model captures what we term relevance through the language generation process itself, rather than traditional relevance scoring. Moving to the second step, we focus on document embedding and retrieval. Once our hypothetical document is generated, the Contriever model encodes this document into an embedding. This embedding is then used in the retrieval process, where it's compared against a corpus to find the most similar real documents. 
This method leverages the document similarity encoded during the contrastive training of the contriever, effectively bypassing the need for direct query document relevance scoring. Through these steps, HIDE simplifies the retrieval process while maintaining robust performance across various languages and tasks. This innovative approach allows us to rethink how relevance is modeled and understood in information retrieval systems. In our approach, we leverage the power of pre-trained models, specifically instruct GPT and Contriever, without the need for additional training. This not only streamlines our setup, but also ensures that we can quickly adapt to new tasks. We utilize the Pizarini Toolkit to conduct our retrieval experiments, maintaining a consistent environment for testing. The sampling from Instruct GPT is set at a default temperature of 0.7, optimizing for a balance between randomness and accuracy in the generated outputs. Moving on to our evaluation strategy, we rigorously test the HIDE framework across a variety of datasets, including TREC DL19, DL20, the BEIR benchmark, and the multilingual Mr. Tidy dataset. Our focus is on assessing the retrieval effectiveness of HIDE in environments where traditional relevance scores are not available, pushing the boundaries of what's possible with zero-shot learning and information retrieval. This method allows us to explore the robustness and adaptability of our system across different languages and query types, providing a comprehensive view of its performance in real-world scenarios. In our exploration of the HIDE model, we delve into the integration of natural language understanding, NLU, and natural language generation, NLG, which fundamentally challenges the traditional methods of relevance scoring. This design not only enhances the model's ability to handle emerging and less common queries, but also adapts dynamically to the evolving landscape of search queries. A key innovation in our approach is the delegation of relevance modeling to large language models, LLMs. This shift potentially reduces the reliance on relevance labels, which are a staple in conventional retrieval systems. By minimizing the dependency on these labels, we open up new possibilities for more flexible and adaptive information retrieval systems. This could lead to significant implications for the efficiency and scalability of search technologies, especially in environments where labeled data is scarce or non-existent. Let's delve into the technical results of our Heidi model, which showcases its robust performance in the field of information retrieval. HIDE not only competes effectively with traditional dense retrievers, but also challenges the conventional reliance on numerical relevance scores for effective retrieval. This shift suggests that understanding and generating language could be as crucial as quantifying relevance numerically. Our evaluation spanned several diverse datasets, including TRECDL19 and DL20, as well as the BEIR and Mr. Tidy datasets, covering a range of languages such as English, Swahili, Korean, and Japanese. The results were consistent across these languages and datasets, demonstrating Heidi's ability to generalize across various query types and documents. This versatility highlights the model's potential in adapting to different linguistic contexts and information needs, making it a valuable tool for global information retrieval tasks. Let's delve into the technical results of our HIDE d model, particularly focusing on its comparison with traditional models and its scalability and adaptation capabilities. Initially, HIDE d's performance is on par with fine-tuned models, which is quite remarkable considering it requires no extensive training. This positions HIDE e as a robust initial system that can efficiently handle search queries right out of the box. As we accumulate more data, a supervised dense retriever can be gradually introduced. This phased integration showcases the scalability of our system. Moreover, HIDE d has demonstrated its effectiveness in managing less common and emerging queries, highlighting its adaptability. This dual capability of both starting strong and scaling efficiently makes HIDE a versatile tool in the evolving landscape of information retrieval. Ladies and gentlemen, let's delve into the innovative HIDE e model, a system that seamlessly integrates large language models with dense encoders and retrievers. This integration not only redefines how interactions and relevance modeling are approached within retrieval systems, but also challenges the traditional reliance on numerical relevance scores. 
High D stands out by demonstrating capabilities comparable to traditional dense retrievers without depending on these numerical scores. This shift is significant as it leverages the natural language understanding and generation capabilities of large language models, thereby reducing our dependency on conventional training methods that require relevance labels. As we reflect on these developments, it's crucial to question the necessity of numerical relevance scores in our field. Could these scores merely be statistical artifacts of language understanding? This perspective opens up exciting discussions and potential research avenues, suggesting that as our models grow in sophistication, the traditional metrics and methods might need re-evaluation. This concludes our exploration of the high de model. Thank you for your attention. High de stands out not only for its innovative approach, but also for its practical utility right from the start. In the initial stages of a search system's life, HIDE matches the performance of fine-tuned models, offering a robust solution when labeled data is scarce. As the system matures and the search log grows, HIDE's scalable and adaptable framework allows for a gradual transition to more traditional, supervised, dense retrievers. This ensures that even as the system evolves, it remains efficient and effective. Turning our focus to the flexibility and power of large language models, HIDE leverages these to handle relevance modeling and instruction understanding directly. This reduces the dependency on labeled data, which is often a significant bottleneck in developing effective retrieval systems. Moreover, HIDE's architecture is particularly adept at adapting to emerging and less common queries, ensuring that even the most unusual or new queries are handled with precision. This adaptability makes Hide E a valuable tool in the ever-evolving landscape of search and information retrieval.